Okay, sound is on yet. Questions. So any questions? Um, yet again, the day of my day is pretty much the same. I work with the pokies. So um, the only pokey I did not get to play with today was Spinner because he's with Shannon 47 in Boston. I got a report from her today that he's really, really good. So she said he's probably one of the best ones she's had this whole time. So fingers crossed that he stays on the right path. Has there been any news on Lynn's Gurgle? Thank you, Jerry. Uh, no, I have to go. I have to bring him down there or have him sleep with a humidifier or something. I don't know. It's that Lynn with that gurgly sound. I don't know if it's just a habit now, like a person that's trying to get over a cough, like just like a tick. Um, he's happy as a clam. I mean, I don't. It could be the malformation. It could be, yep. In there that's making a flap. Yep. So I got to figure that out. Um, have How's Walter's tail? Walter's tail is good. You wouldn't even um, be able to tell that it was injured. It's a little crooked, but it's not bloody and oozy like it was before, so I think we're doing well. It's crooked, though? It's crooked. Not terrible. It's not like it was. When not it was a right angle. Not a right angle. It's just like, like that yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, Dryer's doing great. He actually willingly... I don't have to rope... I have to rope... Last week I had to rope Tumblr and Dryer to walk them to the truck um, to leave the property. But this week Dryer runs right down right next to me, leaps in, um, does great. Tumblr we tried today to just walk her down without a leash on and she just ran circles around the truck like in a panic mode. And so finally I got her to stop and I roped her. Second the rope went on her, she leaped into the truck. So she's <laughs> she still needs... <laughs> The, um, she knows. Yeah. She's happy to go, but it's just that little bit of hesitation. Um, Ivy recognizes my voice and is watching her. Hi, Ivy. Be a good girl. <laughs> um, let's see. When you see puppies eating fluffy stuffing and other filling, should you be concerned? I don't really... I don't really think so. I mean, you can you can comment it, but you don't need to call us like the barn's on fire, like those type of calls. But for the most part, a lot of them aren't really swallowing it. And if they do, I mean, they have they swallow rocks too. So, I mean, <laughs> fluff compared to rocks, I'll take. So, um, thanks. I'll have a good time. What were your training tasks today with the pokies and where did you go? Uh, my training tasks with all the pokies are pretty much the same. Just trying to get them to behave, walk in a straight line. Um, we do a lot of the one step. I, I go to a lot to the Liberty Tree Mall because they have these convenient little squares on the floor. And I just walk one square at a time. Um, and there's a nice long wall that I can just kind of get them to... A lot of them do that thing where their butt will swing out. So if you walk them against the wall, they kind of fix themselves in a way. So one less thing that we have to do. Um, so we went to the mall. Um, I go to CVS a lot. Um, local stores like Market Basket, um, the hospital down on 62, stuff like that. Just get them to get dressed. That's, that's a big thing, willingly putting their head in the vest. It's always exciting when they do that. Um, let's see. Do -do. Uh, what else can I talk about? Did you finish your Sudoku? I did. Oh, well, Harleen finished another puzzle. That's exciting. <laughs> uh, what else can I tell you guys? Hmm. Noelle and Magnus got a lazy day today. They stayed home with my mom, so that was nice. Why don't you send your mom in to work when you go away? <laughs> my mom's watching my children while I go away. <laughs> my children, my children are my dogs. So, like, <laughs> so mom will have my kids at home, and so she can't unless you wanted to show up with all of them. But you are her emergency call if anything goes wrong with Walter. Or... I'll only respond if she makes the bean relish. Okay, got it, got it. <laughs> yep, that's funny. So make sure you get a lot of questions for Steve tomorrow. Really write them down. Think of some challenging ones. He really likes the ones that he gets his tinker going. Okay, let's see. When the yard, 
What did you say? When the yard is full of ice, what is the best thing to do to protect the dogs from injury? Um, Get them in the snow. Yeah, the, I try to avoid ice at all costs. Like a lot of the times, even coming down the hills at the house from leaving Carlene's house down to the truck, I try and rope the dog just to keep them from like spinning out of control. Um, you can't really, we use the arena a lot in the winter because we don't want the dogs to slip and hurt themselves on the ice. So I would just try to avoid it as much as you can. What is the most difficult thing to teach a dog? Hmm. It's the most difficult thing. That comes up a lot. I'd say a tough thing would probably be prey drive. Because that's hard, like, to, to stop that behavior. I think that's that's pretty tough. I mean, you can, people tell you all the time you can use an electric collar and all that kind of stuff. But there's certain things, like, we have some dogs that perk up when they see a chicken. You can leave it, and they're like, oh, okay. And then when they see a little toddler run by, they do the same thing. So I'm not really, are they curious, or are they going to go after the little kid? I don't know. <laughs> like, so I'd say prey drive's tough. And when we have recipients that have issues with prey, uh, prey drive, it's best to come back immediately. Um, that's something that we like to try and get a hold of because that can get out of hand really, really fast. Um, how is Ava doing? Ava's doing really well, knock on wood. She hasn't had any accidents. So we're going strong on that one. Um, let's see. Is anyone working with the guppies right now? Um, yeah, it's a group effort with all the puppies. Um, I focus a lot on the pokies. Uh, but throughout the day when I'm here, we do a lot of recall training with them. Margaret tries to focus on, or she's going to be trying to focus on that group um, so that at least one day a week they get out, invest, and try and do something. Has Bentley... Is she the only one working with them? No, no. We all, we're all working with them, but I'm just saying that we're trying to, like, break them into sections to make it easier. What do they all have? Um, has Bentley been out in the car for training? That's Carlene. Not really go for training, but we went to Staples the other day. He went to Staples well. and he did really well. <clears throat> so he did very well when a husky dog came running in at him. There you go. I don't know whether it was a girl or a boy, but I got in the middle quick. <laughs> um, and he did stay lying down. I shouted down, and the other dog was not in control. And uh, the other, the guy, the owner of the other guy got a hold of him, but good. Bentley was good. Good. It could have been the world's biggest dog fight. Could have been the world's game. biggest dog fight. All right, you're on, Carlene. You're 5 o'clock. It's 5 o'clock. You got your mail I call? I that so fast. You got your mail call ready? I have my mail. All right. Yeah. Um, all right. Like I said, questions for Steve tomorrow. Write them down. Get them ready. <laughs> oh, my God.